Like if you're a serious baker, you know, you got your cute little bag that you squirt the frosting out. We are not serious bakers here. channel so today's video we are going to be making those super cute trending chocolate breakable hearts so the first time I saw this was a couple years ago which I'm sure that's when we all saw them was when Kim Kardashian sent out her PR packages for I want to say it was perfume and when you get your PR package it had a chocolate heart you break it with the wooden mallet and then the perfume was inside so I thought it would be fun to make those for Valentine's Day whether it be for your kids maybe your kids teacher at school um, Galentine's, that would be a cute little gift to get for your girlfriends or heck, even your man, whatever it is, whoever it is that you want to make it for, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I already did like a test run last night and made my first one, turned out pretty cute. So I have a couple tips on how to do everything, but I am kind of still winging it, but I think it's going to turn out really good, really cute. Like I said, based off last night, wasn't my best work, but we're going to try and perfect it today. Now I'm going to go through and show you guys everything that you're going to need in order to make these cute little hearts. Um, most things I got off Amazon, I tried to make it easy. That way, number one, you could get everything that you needed in time because Valentine's Day is like 10 days away. So I know it's like coming up quick on all of us. So if you didn't want to head out and go shopping, especially with COVID going on, and you know, if you live in a Northern state, it's flipping freezing and you guys are having snowstorms right now. So I wanted to make it easy to where you could order this stuff straight to your house and you wouldn't have to actually leave to get anything if you didn't want to so the first thing you're gonna need is one of these silicone molds I got two of them because I actually saw I want to say maybe on TikTok. I'm not really sure but they had a little tip about basically peeling the silicone mold away from your chocolate so it wouldn't break is they made these cuts inside of it so I wanted to try that to see if that was gonna be easier than not doing the cut so I just got two that way I could try both things out and kind of let you guys know what I thought about that and just my opinion on that so next you're gonna need these cute little wooden mallets these again are from Amazon I don't know if they come in a smaller pack or not but this came in a pack of six and I want to say they were fairly inexpensive like six or seven dollars I think the mold was like 12 or 13 dollars too so that wasn't anything that was going to break the bank and then as far as like decorating your heart afterwards i thought it would be really pretty to use some gold um this is like a gold cake dust um you know i'm not a baker i mean not that we're baking anything but i feel like decorating baked goods or anything like that like even these chocolate hearts like that's a talent that's a skill and i'm pretty crafty i'm pretty creative but i will say i don't know if this is going to be my strong suit but i want to try it so we're going to try it out so i got this i thought this would be cool to either flake on there or if you mix this with vodka it kind of makes like a paint so like a liquid gold type of thing i that's like the part that i really want to try so I picked up some of this and a ton comes in here so you can use this for like other things too. And then I am going to use some red food coloring. I just happen to have this in my pantry already. They didn't have the melted um, chocolate in pink and I just really wanted to do a pink heart. Last night, like I said, I did a trial and error. I did a white one and a pink one. Really love the pink one. So I picked up some white melting um, chocolate wafers and then I just do a little dab of the food coloring to make it pink. And then I also picked up some black because I thought this would be cool to try out maybe if you were gonna make this for a man. I thought the black might make it just look a little bit more manly. So I'm gonna do both of those today. Now, a little tip is these are meltables. They're black artificial vanilla flavoring. So it's not actually chocolate, if, if that makes sense, like what I'm saying. These are, I forget like exactly, I guess did you just call them meltables like they are chocolate, but they're artificially flavored. They're not like a legit 
nice expensive chocolate that's gonna taste really great like I think these still taste great I tasted it and I thought they tasted fine um, but the reason I got these was because number one they were a lot less expensive these were like 250 at Michaels and if you go on Amazon or anywhere else and you try and get actual melted chocolate like if you were gonna melt you know chocolate for strawberries you would want that to be like a nicer chocolate because you're in ingesting it and i mean you want it to taste really good and again these do not taste bad like if i didn't know i just think these were normal chocolate um but again the reason i got these was because they're a lot less expensive and because i you know i don't know if they would actually eat the like outer shell like um, you could if you wanted to but i just wasn't going to spend 16 dollars on the shell when it's like really all you're doing is breaking it to get the candy or gift or whatever it is that you're putting inside of it and again you can still eat these and it's fine no big deal uh, it's still gonna taste good um so they were cheap and then also the second reason was because these when you melt these and put these into the mold opposed to chocolate chocolate is gonna dry really dull looking when you melt these meltables i keep calling them meltables yeah i guess they are meltables um when you melt these into the mold it comes out looking shiny like it almost looks like plastic i think it's just a lot more appealing visually so that's why i ended up getting these sorry that was like a really long explanation and then I also got these, I'm not actually giving these to anyone, I'm just making these just to show you guys an idea. So I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money on like filling, so I just picked up a little um, package of chocolates just like to show you what it would look like to have something actually underneath um, the heart when you break it. So I picked up some of these chocolates. And then I'm gonna use a couple plastic um, Ziploc bags because I'm going to kind of squirt the chocolate out for decoration, but I didn't actually pick up any like frosting bags or like anything that you would, anything professional that you would normally use for that. So I'm just gonna make do with these plastic Ziplocs. God, I feel like this is the longest, <laughs> the longest item description in history. Um, and then I just happen to have these in my pantry as well. Um, just some sprinkles and like pretty pearly kind of things to put on to decorate as well. You can pick up whatever you want, whatever color you want. Oh, also, I almost forgot about this. So I picked up some crinkle paper. I didn't, I, I just have this in my home at all times because I'm a pretty serious gift wrapper when I give a gift. So when I ordered this off Amazon months ago, I just get like the big two pound bag because I know I'm gonna go through it. That's why this is like such a large amount. Um, so I have some white already, I had white already, and then I ordered something, or actually no, these, this is the one I ordered. I got this off Michael's. I ordered some, but it wasn't gonna come in in time, and I wanted to get this video up, so I went and picked some of this up today. I'm just gonna kinda play around with it, that's why I have two colors. I think it's just gonna depend on what color heart that you decide that you want, because originally, if I had a pink heart, I wanted to offset it with the white crinkle paper. If I had a white heart, I wanted to offset it with the pink crinkle paper. So I just got both just to see and play around with. We'll figure that out. We'll see what I think looks the best at the end. And then also, I just got some plain, regular white gift boxes. I ordered those offline too. Again, I will link everything down below so you guys can pick all of this stuff off Amazon. Okay, now that that is all out of the way, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we are going to go ahead and melt the chocolate. I don't even know why I'm trying to be fancy and like put this in a measuring cup because I don't even know how much chocolate I'm going to need. But I kind of, oh, that would actually kind of fit perfectly. So this is three-fourths of a cup. I just don't really like to heat anything up in plastic, so that's why I'm putting it into this glass um, little jar. Now, you're supposed to heat the chocolate up basically on increments of 30 seconds, depending on how high you know the watts of your microwave is, so I can't give you like an exact time um, frame on how, to, how long to heat it up because everybody's microwave is different, so a safe bet is to just go ahead and do it on increments of 30 seconds, check it, and then stir it around. So while the chocolate's heating up, I just went ahead and washed these silicone um, molds out. And <clears throat> obviously, if you guys are making these for other people, you would want to put gloves on. I'm obviously not. I'm just making it for myself. So I don't need to get that crazy, but you know, you're going to be handling people's food. So food. <laughs> so again, put gloves on if you are making these for other people. 
just a little PSA. Especially because of Corona going on. One thing about heating up chocolate that you want to be really careful of is you can overheat the chocolate and then it starts to get hard. So you really do want to just kind of check it every 30 seconds to make sure that it's like right at the perfect consistency. That's the other thing about these meltables is I feel like when you're melting these opposed to real chocolate, they're just a lot smoother. So this is kind of the perfect consistency, almost like a yogurt consistency. So I just got done with the first layer of chocolate. I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the freezer for about 10 minutes and let it harden up. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and do the second layer. You guys, I'm such a flake. I just went to heat up more of the chocolate and I totally forgot to put in the food coloring to make it pink for the first mold that I just did. Um, you only need one drop for the uh, three-fourths cup. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just have a white one or I don't know, maybe I'll do two layers. Maybe I'll do like a, no, I'm just gonna have to have a white one. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but good lord. Talk about a brain fart. So I took it out and I threw it away and now I did it again because I just wanted a pink heart. That was what I've been planning on, so that's what I want to do. So dramatic. I know I just threw the white one away, but I just redid the mix again, melted the chocolate, and with the three-fourths cup of white chocolate, you only do one drop of the red food coloring and it makes this really, really pretty, like, blush colored like pale pink color so i'm basically gonna go ahead and do this step all over again see in a second so it's been about 10 minutes so i went ahead and grabbed the chocolate heart out of the freezer so we are in business baby we have a pink heart and i am heating up the chocolate for the second layer i'm not even gonna do like a full second layer i'm just making enough chocolate to kind of fill in those transparent parts where you can tell the chocolate just like wasn't thick enough. I went ahead and heated up some more chocolate for the um, decoration part that we're going to do on top of the chocolate heart so i'm just gonna use a little ziploc bag i'm gonna dump this i'm gonna try and get this just in the corner because we're gonna cut it and kind of use it as one of those like i don't even know what you call those bags like if you're doing frosting like if you're a serious baker you know you got your cute little bag that you squirt the frosting out we are not serious bakers here, so we're making do with what we have. So this is ready to go. Now what you're gonna do is just very carefully start peeling the silicone away from the edges. Now another reason why it would be good to wear gloves doing this too is because these, what do you call these things again? The meltables make the chocolate look so shiny that if your fingerprints, like if you touch it and you get fingerprints on it, it kind of takes away from the shininess. But I'm not even gonna show you guys the mold I did with the slits in it because I just think it's really unnecessary to be honest with you. Okay, so here's the heart. You can see how shiny it is. Oh my God, I almost just dropped it. It's so cute. Focus. There we go. There's the heart. So I'm gonna set it down on some tin foil so we can start decorating. So we have our little decorations here. These are just some clear sprinkles and then some pearls here. And then as far as the gold dust goes, I kind of wanna do both dust and the shiny part. I just don't know how the shiny part's gonna turn out. So I did a little research and they say that you should mix the gold dust with vodka is the best liquid to use. Just did a little splash of that and now I'm gonna mix it together. Okay, this is like more of a paint. It's okay, so this is nice and thick, like if you wanted to paint something on the heart, 
I wanted to, I don't even know. I wanted to be able to like drizzle it. So I'm going to add more gold and more vodka. I feel like this might be kind of a waste because I'm using a lot of the gold, but just to do what I want to do with it. Hopefully this works. I wanted to put this in a bag too, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because this looks a little too liquidy. This is the part that gives me slight anxiety because you only have one shot to decorate this. So you don't want to mess it up okay okay so I have our little bag here that we made I'm gonna cut a little hole in it get it off of there get it off sir sir okay it's off here goes nothing fam oh it's cute well, okay, little tip. I didn't really go all the way to the end right there, so you see how it kind of like bubbled up? When you're doing it, I would just go ham all the way to the end, don't stop. Okay, you guys, so I'm super happy with the way that the decorations turned out. Hopefully, this is focusing. It's so pretty! So I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. The way that I did mine is pretty minimalistic, but honestly, you can decorate yours however that you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside the box that way you guys can see what the finished product is gonna look like. So here is the chocolate heart all finished. This is the final product. I went ahead and layered it inside the box, added the crinkle paper, and then some chocolates underneath. I think it would be really cute to even add a little Valentine's Day note or whatever it is that you wanna add in there. And then I also thought it was a cute touch to put some ribbon on the mallet. I'm obsessed with the way that this turned out, you guys. I really am. I had so much fun with this. If you guys end up creating your own chocolate hearts, please be sure to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your creations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.